Right, so this evening I'm on rigid work duty. I'm, uh, I've literally got to go and deliver a pallet to a Chinese restaurant. And you know what? I have not driven a rigid since I've done my test. So this is pretty cool. It's a nice feeling to be in one again. Uh, it's certainly different. Uh, because when you're in the Arctic, you appreciate the fact that the truck is articulated and you can turn and you can you know you know the way to turn the vehicle with the trailer on the back but with a rigid it's like driving a car it's it's, it's, it's rigid you know so reversing into places is a bit uh is different it's nice though it's lovely to be back out in one of these. Anyway, so at the minute we're just uh, just coming along the end, or coming on to the M50 now in a minute. We're just coming up by uh, the other side of Ballymount, up at the Red Cow. There's the Red Cow Hotel there. So this is the way we're going on. It's the quickest way to our yard as well. It's through here, so it's the way I've chosen to go today. I think it's pretty cool being back in one of these. It really is. Like, it's a nice feeling. <laughs> it's definitely something I can get used to, you know? Definitely something I can get used to. Let's see what the traffic's like now. Traffic's not too bad. Uh, there's definitely uh, a lot worse traffic around, I believe, the N7. Just across the way there, I believe the traffic's real bad there, so kind of doing well I'm only going as far as Lucan so it kicks ass I might even get a free Chinese oh do I have cash yeah I might even get a free Chinese out of it so I'll see how I go but this is definitely nice to be back in a little rigid like I've never actually driven one professionally that's the thing the closest thing I've driven to a rigid professionally has been um, a tow truck but they're only really rigid body small vehicles, you know. But this is lovely. This kicks ass. Come on, speech he does. Okay, she's good about 93. Yeah, thereabouts. 93 or thereabouts. It's cool, it's nice. Well, we're on the 50 here. Looks like there's a bus broken down, that's not good. But this is us just chilling. <laughs> I never thought I'd enjoy driving something smaller than an Arctic, but this I enjoy. This is awesome. I don't know what it is with Lucan, the amount of speed bumps along this road is unbelievable. This is like the 50th one I've gone over on this road. Unreal. Like I've never seen anything like it anywhere I've ever been. Just speed bump after speed bump after speed bump. That's not very level, sorry guys. But, um,. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. Gotta make a right here. I don't know what's going on with my camera, why it's not level, sorry guys. But, um, it's a, it's a hell of a, a turnabout of a place. So I remember when I was doing the vehicle recovery, I were, I, went to a job in the shopping centre and they sent the worst truck you could possibly send in with something as high nearly as this rigid with the frame on it so it is pretty crazy now I'm just hoping I can 
get up and over the road here because I need to go over the other side of the M4 or the N4 should I say and if I can get over the other side of it I, I'd be doing well like I really would yes I can I can go over it and then I'll just continue on straight through this junction and then the road will go around to the left and I'll just follow that and that should bring me right up to this uh, this Chinese restaurant <coughs> oh. So let's see how we go. I follow the cops. The cops always know where there's a good eating house, so. I just gotta automatically assume that they're going the right same way as me. But I can tell you one thing for sure, it's different driving a rigid along here. I'd rather be in a rigid doing this work than an Arctic going along this way. That's the truth. I think this place where I need to be is... I don't actually know where it is. Where am I? I need to go left here. That'll bring me up where I need to go. my whole research of where this is by Google Maps by looking at it because if I try hold on now if I try and set a route I know if I go the route it will not bring me the right way because I'm in a truck it will bring me down through uh, weight restricted roads I'd say some of them where did I went down but I'm going by oi alright here we go oh man this is a familiar sight Back in a Volvo, I absolutely love Volvo trucks. I love them, they're amazing. They're the, wait, if I go this way, they, yeah. They're the, they're the best trucks ever. I just love them, I'm mad about them. Uh, yeah, so I'm back in a Volvo for a while. Um, oh, there's a sound I miss, the old Volvo seatbelt sign. Oh man, right, so we're headed for Port Leash. Then we gotta go down to Barack Obama Plaza. Down in uh, Offaly, I think it is. Then uh, we have uh, gotta come back up here then to the air, drop the trailer, go back down to Port Leash, pick up that trailer and ship it. So it's like no time when you're in a Volvo, you just you know I love these trucks, they're so good. Oh, just miss that driver comfort, the pulling power, everything. Oh, they're the best. <laughs> but anyway, that's the crack. I'm uh, I'm literally just chilling out here, heading for, as I said, leash. I'm in the wrong freaking lane as usual. Oh well. As I call my life, or my trucking experience is called life in the wrong lane. <laughs> We're just gonna go for. Uh, the N7 and go from there then just straight on down straight down to junction uh, 17 then from 17 go to a cold store down that way 
and then that's that's pretty much us then. Oh man, I missed the Volvo so much. If I was asked by these guys to drive, like you know, full time, full time, full time for them, and I was given a Volvo, I'd say yes. I'd say yes straight away. Seems to be an incident up ahead here. And I would only imagine it's a crash. I don't know what's going on. I think maybe the retarder's on in this. Yeah. Holy crap, the cops have the whole road sealed off. I don't know what's going on there. I really see this guy, so I don't know. I wonder what's going on. You'd love to know sometimes what this be happening, what the cops see. You'd love to know like what the story is, what's going on there. Why are them two members of the guards stopping traffic? Why is that guy in the camper van um, having trouble getting onto that diesel pump or whatever? You know, these sort of things I ask myself every day. What's going on? I always ask myself that. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to this evening's vlog slash earlier on today's vlog. Um, it's really, uh, it's a really, 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 really nice evening. It's a placid evening. It's a beautiful evening. It's just perfect for driving. I'm very curious as to what speed this thing goes up to. Hey, she does over 90. That's good. That's always good. That's always welcomed. I'd say she's doing about 91 or so. Give or take. I'd say about 91. Man, I, I miss these trucks so much. You have no idea. Absolutely love being out in them. This is properly enjoying a nice drive. In the Bobo. <laughs> I just love Bobo so much. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's doing well and their day is going great for them. I myself, I am literally just hanging on, chilling, hanging out with this Volvo for the day and the evening. Oh, crap, looks like another incident. What is with this road and incidents? This is the N7. Oh, crap, the cops are with them. Better knock you down a way about there, hey. I wonder what's going on. Not open your door. Why right, one guy went into the back of the other, that's what I reckon. But uh oh man I miss these trucks. I'm sorry I'm going on about it guys, I just I miss these trucks so much. I love Volvo trucks. Like okay, it's not brand new. I'd say this is like this is on a northern plate. So I'm reckoning. Literally reckoning that this is maybe 2012, 2000 and say, you know, 13 or something like that. But again, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but it's uh, it's identical to the one that I had in Dixon's, and I love that Volvo. I love that truck so much. Um, it was the best truck going. It was just amazing. I just I. I I love this. But um, it's exactly the same as Dixon's Volvo. Uh, it's not done out the same because it hasn't got the CV radio in it. it has it? No. It hasn't got the radio or any of that business in it. But it's the, it's 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 a beauty. It's a beauty to drive. You've got that driver comfort. You got amazing steering position, great lumbar support, seating position, the whole lot. I just love them. It's perfect, you know. But um. Yeah, so far so good. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy these couple of trips tonight now. I'm down and up the road a few times, so hang out with me guys. It'd be great to have you with me. Sorry about the shabby camera work people, I'm just uh still not the May West with it. Just come along the N7 here. 
about to go on to the M7 at Nice. There's the big ball of Nice. This road, uh, not yes, was it yesterday? Yesterday or the day before, there was a fatal accident on this road. Now, I don't know the consequences of the incident or the accident or those involved. But whoever got killed, my condolences to you, to your family, to everyone that knows you. And to the poor person that was involved that actually was driving the car or bus or truck or plane or whatever the heck it was that killed the person. Um, I hope you're never afraid to get behind the wheel again because... Um, I wouldn't let that traumatize you. I just learn from it. It's not heartless, it's just don't let an incident take you off the road. If you're a good driver and an accident happened, it happens, it happens all the time. Don't worry about it. But anyway, away from that for a minute. Oh, look at that. Lovely. No, I must say, you know, I really do being back. Look, <laughs> I really do enjoy being back out on the truck, uh, especially a Volvo. And I'm going to keep quoting Volvo, 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 Volvo all the time because I love them. <laughs> They're just a great truck. They're just so good. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it, folks. I'm going to get down, um, as I said, drop this trailer, get down to Barack Obama Plaza, take 15 minutes there just to keep my card right, and blow back up the road, get a trailer dropped off, go back down the road to where I'm going right now, pick up this trailer after it's unloaded and reloaded and ship it out in the boat, so I should speak to you shortly on the 15th of the video ok right so, so far so good we're down and back already and we're on the way back down again to pick up this trailer to deliver it to the boat and ship it out unattended uh, <laughs> it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would you know giving your 45 minute break and giving everything else that you need um, earlier on today when I started work I was out in a rigid truck excuse me and when I was out in the rigid truck I realized uh, people are probably thinking about where to saying this but they're harder to reverse than an Arctic now, for those of you that have never driven a rigid, okay, I can get what you're saying. You're an idiot. It's easier. It's not. It's actually, for somebody that drives a truck all the time, an articulated truck like this, a Volvo, of course, a Volvo. My Volvo is in my heart. But anyway, um, these are a lot easier to maneuver than a, uh, a rigid lorry. They really are, because as I said earlier on, it's rigid. That's it. You can only turn one way or the other. With a truck, you can with an air tick, you can kind of make her make her like a snake and kind of get yourself. It's just it's hard to explain. It's just a hell of a lot easier to get where you need to be, say, to place yourself perfectly on a loading dock or a bay or reversing onto a boat or anything. Just general maneuverability in an air tick is it's so much easier. I literally did one delivery earlier on in that rigid, and I found it. It was a class to drive because I have not driven one since my test. So when I went and I passed my car license 10 years ago, whatever it was, my truck license, I can't remember, so many years ago, and then the Arctic, like, the rigid was handy, it was easy to pass, but that's the last time I drove on it until today. It's crazy. But it felt good. It was nice going out, and it'd be like, it was nice delivering a, a load. It was nice getting a free Chinese from the lady in the shop that I delivered to. It was nice chatting to them and everything. Yeah, this whole idea of today has just worked out lovely. I'm off work tomorrow, which I am delighted about. But I'm back in again on Sunday. But I'm off Monday, so Monday's a bank holiday here in Ireland. If you're not watching in Ireland or wherever, uh, hang on a sec guys, we've got dim dim lights overtaken. If you're not watching in Ireland, uh, you're uh, you're probably think you're probably you guys probably I don't know, I got a lot of viewers lately that have subscribed to me from the United States, America. 
So I don't know if you guys do bank holidays over there, how that operates, or national holidays. I don't actually know how you guys operate that. But we have bank holidays. It's like, I think it's the first Monday of every month. Uh, first or last Monday of every No, it's, it's the first Monday of every month. That's correct. And um, with the bank holiday, you normally get the day off being at a bank holiday it's a national holiday but it's um, for truck drivers and people that work in 24 hour demanding businesses and companies uh, to be honest you'd be lucky to get it off I have not had a bank holiday off in about five years I don't think I've ever had a bank holiday off in the last five years it's just it hasn't happened if I has it was obviously a crap day because I don't remember it but anyway, moving on from that, um, what are you flashing for? Oh, he's flashing over okay. Going loopy. But um, yeah, so we're doing good on time, but we're a bit later than I thought. We're a lot, actually, matter of fact, we're a lot later than I thought. It is 1.05 p.m. a.m. It's, well, it's 1.05 a.m. already. It's gonna take me running at 90 odd kilometers an hour. It's gonna take me the best of an hour bit at least an hour and a half or an hour and a quarter to get down to where I need to go I've already got just under 20 minutes driving done it's gonna take me an hour and it's let's say an hour and a half to get me down here literally five minutes not even two minutes hook up couple up the trailer you know all the rest get out of there and straight up the road um, go and deliver that trailer in one of the ferry I don't know where it's going. I think it's going Stena or Irish. I don't know. But I've got to ship that trailer. Man, I'm talking at least 3 a.m. finish tonight. It's late. It's going to be late. Well, it's not as late as last night where we done until like 5 a.m. But, yeah, it's alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, hell of a lot worse, actually. But anyway, most importantly, I'm off tomorrow, that's the main thing. But unfortunately, or doesn't work. So, you know, I kind of, I don't know what to do tomorrow. I might just sleep tomorrow out, to be honest. I'm so tired from yesterday. But, again, as I said earlier on, when I got into the truck earlier, at 6.05 p.m., I was tired. I mean, I was so tired. Even herself, she even said it to me earlier on, Al, you're, you're just not yourself, you're tired. Man, I, dude, I, I legit did not want to get out of bed this morning. I just didn't, I was so tired. We had to go and sort out some stuff with our phone and whatever, and I was just like, man, this, this dude, I'm tired. I want to stay in bed, I got like five hours sleep. I was legit wrecked, I was, I was so tired, I've never been so tired before. And then I said, you know what, I mean, just get up. She made me coffee. We got up, we went and got our phone sorted, but we dropped it off to get fixed. And then uh, I, I left and I went to work. I met a friend real quick on the way and I went to work. And I was legit tired. I was so tired to go to work, you've no idea. And then I got into a truck, uh, got into that rigid earlier. I was just like, okay, I'm not even tired anymore. Right now, I'm not tired. But I know when I get home, like, I'm, I'm gonna, the second I hit the pillow, I'm gone, I'm straight to sleep. Like, I don't know, that word legit, I don't know where that's just come from, I've been using it the last couple of days. I heard it somewhere. But anyway, it works, sounds good. Anyway, I, I'm gonna be so lazy to, that's what I'm thinking, I don't know guys, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I, maybe I'll probably get up early, you know what I'm gonna do, actually, scrap all of that into a bulk, swallow it. I'm gonna go up to my parents' house tomorrow and I'm gonna go and check out a couple of things. I'm gonna go fly my drone tomorrow. I've not touched my, I, I played with my drone three times since I bought it and I've had it like three months. I am scared of that drone, I'm genuinely legit scared of that drone. So I'm gonna play with that tomorrow. I'm gonna to take you with me, you guys can hang out with me tomorrow. You can hang out with me tomorrow. It'd be great to have you guys come along. But I'm gonna go up and see my parents tomorrow and I'm gonna go and play with that drone. I'm gonna try and legit fly that thing properly, get it off the ground and make, I don't know, 
maybe like a circle or something, I'll put a GoPro under it or whatever, I've got like another GoPro, so, I don't know, I'll see what happens, but anyway, I'll speak to you guys when I'm on the way back to the road, and thanks for listening to me ranting on, this is kind of just a, I'm lonely as hell type of vlog tonight, uh, driving on the road, but I'm enjoying it, I'm in the Swedish pride, so, Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll speak to you guys in a little bit.